people who knew me could look at well that's that a Quentin, Quentin made movie. That. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that has my You've spirit. You've had that, that has from my day one then. Yeah. But the thing is though, it just it was like this was going to be the thing that like set me up. Yeah. All right? And I'd worked 3 years on it. And the the I was able to look at it in a in a realistic way after being horribly depressed for a little bit. But only a short little bit. Was the fact that well, this was my film school. All right, and this was the best film school a person could possibly have. I mean, I actually, instead of like going to school and paying a ton of money to be allowed to use some of their crappy equipment, all right, I actually went out and actually tried to make yeah. make a, a feature film. All right, now I failed. It was guitar picks when I was finished, but. When I looked at the footage, now all the stuff I did the first year, which was all the story stuff, all right, right. sucked, all right? right. But the stuff that I did, like the last couple of months, yeah. that Had wasn't something. so bad. Yeah, and what, it, what made the difference? What did you learn after you got past the story stuff? And is that what is best about even Pulp mm -hmm. Fiction? Mm -hmm where you got beyond mm -hmm. the story stuff. Well, no, to me, I actually, I actually think one of my strongest, my, one of my strengths is my storytelling. Because yeah. you know, I actually come, come committing to telling a story. It was Because just, you're a writer? Um, I, I, more as a viewer. Okay. More, but more the fact that I just like, you know, I like it when somebody tells me a story and I actually really feel that that's becoming like a, a lost art in But American everybody cinema. says about you, I mean, the, the other than, t I mean, the things that come out about you, one is a video arcade story, mm -hmm. you know, and, and growing up with your mother and loving the movies and seeing, they always talk about carnal knowledge. And <laughs> the other thing that comes out is, is when they talk about you, and I want to talk about this a little bit later, but it is that you, in a sense, have taken novelistic techniques. Very much so, very much and so. And translated them to filmmaking, yes, to exactly. cinema. No, I know well, that's well. That's the thing is because to me, most movies that you see now. I mean, that used to be the thing about America was the fact that Hollywood. Forget America, Hollywood. Right. Hollywood used to. That's what we did better than anybody else in the world. We told a right. really good right. story. Right. You know, Europe was where you had character-based films or mood-based films, but America, we told the story. We're the worst at it now, as far as I'm concerned. At All right. telling a story. I'm telling a story. We don't tell a story. We tell a situation. Most of the movies that you see nowadays, and I'm not a Hollywood basher because enough good movies come out of the Hollywood system every year to justify its existence, you know, but they, without any apologies. However, a good majority of movies that come out, all right, you pretty much know everything you're going to see in the movie by the first 10 or 20 yeah. minutes. Now, that's not a story. A story is something that constantly unfolds. I'm not talking about like this quick left turn or a quick right turn or a big surprise. I'm talking about it unfolds. All right. Yeah, but you don't believe in a linear storytelling. No. Well, it's not. You know, it's not so much I don't believe in it. Uh, it's the situation. It's too. I, I'm, well, it's no. It's it's not the fact that I'm like I'm this big crusade against linear storytelling. All right, but it's the thing is, it's not the only game in town. Yeah. 